Hi, this is a personal message from Solar Cities to Dave McNair and Kendall Christensen and Craig Sumner, all the great people at Emerson Electronics and Syncorator Corporation. We have just finished our first Zabaline community in Syncorator installation, thanks to the gift that you were so kind to give to the Fatih family. And here it is, uh, installed. Because our biodigester is on the roof, the way that we're doing this is simply using this into a bucket whenever we grind food and carrying it up to the roof and then for the rest of the dishwashing we're going down to the regular drain. In newer applications we're going to connect the insincorator directly to a biodigester that's underneath the kitchen. But uh, we wanted to let you know that it's working fantastic and this is saving a lot of labor and time and really improving the biogas uh, process. So thank you so much guys for supporting us here at Solar Cities and look forward to seeing you next time we're in the US. So let's lift up. Hi, my name is Hannah Fatih for Solar Cities, and now we are making breakfast using the biogas. And after the breakfast, we will install the first sinkerator for the sinker, so we can put all the organic waste for inside it. I mean, so we will grind it and we will use it for the biogas. And this is the first time we we build it or we install it in. Garbage city or the Berlin area, and maybe it's the first time in, in Egypt. And then this is Khalas, uh, goodbye forever. Mm -hmm. And this is very simple to use. It just goes under here. Heavy for me with one hand. So hi, I'm Hanna Fatih from Solar Cities, and this uh, water, as you saw, it's boiled by using biogas, which we use the organic food to feed the bacteria, so the bacteria can make the methane gas to use it as a flame for boiling water or cooking food. The old way we were using the, the traditional or the kitchen blender for blending the food and making just smooth or soft for the bacteria mixed with water to feed, the, to feed the bacteria but the new thing which we will try today is to use the syncreator to blend the food so it will be easier and this one is stronger than the blender so we will see how it will work Show us that you can put your hand in there. Okay. And also if you put your hand, 
just to press the the food, it's okay. Can see. Any points where you stick your hand in the mouth of a lion. Do you want to see inside how it would look like? Yours ports right out to this bucket. Okay, go ahead and uh, turn it off. Play there. After we finish, we will turn it off, and it's it's working by the air pressure. It's not uh, a wire. So there's no electricity that could harm you. you. Can see, it's it's not uh, it's mm -hmm. not a wire. So I will connect it again, and then. You can hear the sound of the circuit. Right. So it talk, it's faster also than the... Say it's right again. Uh, it's faster than the, the traditional blender. And quieter. Yeah, quieter. Yeah, and you can control it because you have a wide place where you can put the food and it will go slowly. But for the blender we have to put it once and sometimes it's stuck in the bottom. Or if there are any fibers it will catch it, it will maybe turn the, the motor, it will uh, broke it. But this one goes direct. Just put it and it disappears, it blend it, blend it and go to the bottom. And the water that, it, you, that you used is exactly the amount you need to feed the biogas yes. digester anyway. You will see, let, let me show you. And now we can put it again. So in your system, you take the, you can still wash the dishes and it'll go right through to the yeah, regular you drain. You can see now, it's, so there's no water go in the floor, it will go to the sewage pipe. But this, it's a good way for like, uh, remove it and put it inside the bucket so the food will fall inside it. But of course, if your biodigester was on the floor below us, yeah, we can connect it automatically. Pipe, yeah, we can put two pipes, so one will go to the sewage in the second will go to the biogas so we will not see the, the garbage or we will, we will not meet mm -hmm. with it, it will go itself. But here we're on the roof and you're going to bring us up to the roof? Yeah, yes. we should take it upstairs. And also you can see how it's like it's more liquid than the biogas. Now you will see how, how it's moving. It's like water just mixed with some water. Hot water. And then we can wash the bucket. And the hot water is good for it, yeah? Yeah, sure. Can you see the steam? Yep. Keep doing it, Hannah, because he's got a, a picture. Yeah, he's turned that one. So there's not steam in here or not. Can you see the steam? Yeah. Because the bacteria need to be at body temperature. So the solar hot water is the cheapest way to keep the production up. And also by this way the food will not st stick with the, the bucket. You can see after we put it, just stir it and then... And obviously it makes no difference how clean the water is, does it? It makes no difference at all. In fact, I use the grey water. I don't use clean water. <laughs> 